So in this video, we're going to look at how we can create a video presentation using green screen where you can put yourself into the presentation all on an iPad. So let's go to our first app that we're going to use. We're going to use Keynote. So I've got Keynote here. So let's open up Keynote and I'm going to create a new Keynote presentation by tapping the plus in the corner. And then we need to go to the wide screen. Because we're creating a video, we don't want standard. So we need to create wide. And then let's go to presentation. So this is our presentation. Now, what we can do is we can go to the paintbrush in the corner. So let's tap the paintbrush. And I want to change the background to a green color. Because what we're going to do is we're going to replace the green of the slide with me as the presenter inside the presentation. So let's choose a green here. I'm going to choose any of those greens and then we can go back. Now let's start our presentation. So let's double tap inside and let's put a title for this. So let's do the history. So here's my title. So I'm going to click on this. I'm just going to make this smaller and I'm going to drag this in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the corner here. Okay. So let's just put that in there like so. Now the reason my title is going there is because on the left hand side of the screen is where I'm going to put myself as part of this presentation. So then we can start putting things into our presentation. So I'm going to double tap on this and I'm going to put some information about what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about Now there's my topics that I'm going to talk about. So now let's make this smaller and let's drag it in here. And I'm just going to drag this down. So we're going to make our text bigger. Now at the moment, my text is centralized. I don't want it centralized. I'm going to go to the, the paintbrush here again. And I'm going to go to the left and then scroll down and then do bullets and then do bulleted. OK, so there's my bulleted list. Now let's add a new slide. Now, the easiest way to do this is duplicate the slide that you've got. Then you don't have to worry about putting the background in. All you need to do is then change the title and change the bullet points. So let's do that. So I'm going to tap on the slide and then copy and then tap underneath and paste. Now we've got our second slide here of all the information that we want. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to select it all here. And I'm going to type Microsoft, my first topic that I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going to put some information about Microsoft here. So I'm going to just delete this. Let's put Bill Gates, Windows. So let's open up Safari and I'm going to type in here Microsoft. So let's go to that. Now what I can do is tap on images. Now, if I scroll along here, what I want to do is click on labeled for reuse because I want to use images that are legal to use. Now, if I was to put PNG on the end there, then we find images that have got no background. Let's use one of these. So I'm going to tap on this one here. Now there's two things I can do. I can either copy this or save it to my camera roll. So I'm just going to hold my finger on the screen. Then this menu comes up and let's save image but I could have copied as well. And then we're going to go back to Keynote. So double tap. So now let's put that image in. So let's tap on the plus. Now we've got our photos. So tap on photos. There's my image. And you can see there, there's my Microsoft image down there. Now the problem we've got with this one is there is a green element within the Microsoft image. So it might not be the best image to use for this particular presentation, but I'm just going to go with it for now. So let's go back to our first slide. Let's add an image to this one as well. So let's go back to Safari and let's put computers, images, labeled for reuse. And let's choose a PNG image. And I'm just going to use this image here. So this time, let's just copy this. I'm going to go back to Keynote and then we can paste by just tapping and then paste. And there we have our image. And let's just make that a little bit bigger. There we go. So what you will do is go through this and add more slides for your presentation. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get these 
slides as images that we can put into our movie. Now, unfortunately, Keynote doesn't allow you to export as an image. You can only export as a PDF or PowerPoint. So we have to be a bit more creative in the way we do this. So the way I'm going to suggest that we do this is play the presentation from the beginning. And then we're going to use screenshot. So if we click the home key and the off button at the same time, there is my screenshot. Now I can tap the screenshot. Now, if you're in a different operating system, what you might have to do at this point is go into photos, open up the screenshot in photos and then click edit. Then what we're going to do is just crop this down. So I'm going to crop it from the bottom as well, like so. And there we have our first image. And then we can click done. Save to photos. And now let's go to the first slide and do the first slide. So let's play this again, do a screenshot. Tap on the screenshot and crop this in. And then click done, save to photos. Now we have both of our slides as images in our photo reel. So now what we need to do now is open up a app called green screen. So I'm going to type in green screen here and there you can see it's the one with the octopus and we're going to click on that. This will take you to the first screen. We're going to tap on the plus in the corner and create a new project. Now in our new project, we're going to tap the plus in the middle of the three pluses at the bottom. So let's tap that and we're going to find an image from our photo library. So let's tap on recently added and let's choose the history of computers and use that one there. OK, so now you can see the green screen app has automatically taken out the green of the slide. So if we tap on the color circle here, OK, there you can see in the corner what my slide actually looks like. Now, the black text has actually gone missing as well, but we're going to replace it with something that's not black. So the black text will appear. So what I'm going to do now is I need to make sure that I get my timings right for my images. So I've got my first image here. So I'm going to say, right, the first image I'm going to talk for about eight seconds. So let's move that to eight seconds, tap on it and then trim. And now I can insert my second image. So I'm going to click the plus again, go to my image and then choose recently added. And then I'm going to choose the Microsoft one here and use that. So there's my Microsoft and my history. Now you can see there the green has been removed on the Microsoft logo. So it's not the best thing to use. I'm just going to go with it for now. And then I'm going to decide how long do I need. So this is going from eight seconds. So let's say another eight seconds or let's say, yeah, let's say 10 seconds for this one. So I'm going to go to 10 seconds and then trim that as well. So now I've got two images here which I can talk through. Now let's go back to the beginning of the video and tap the third plus in the corner. And then we're going to use the camera. Now you can see the camera has now come up. Now you can see why I chose to use that part of the screen as all my presentation, because you can see I'm standing in the part where I need to be. So now what I need to do is record this. So let's do that now. And my first slide has got to be eight seconds and my second slide is 10. So let's do that. Here we go. Hi everyone, this is my presentation on the history of computers. I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft, Apple, Google and Facebook. Microsoft was founded by a man called Bill Gates. And Bill Gates, he invented something called Windows. And Windows, as you can see from the logo, OK, I'm going to stop that there. Now, what you've got here is the option to preview your video, show export options or save it to the camera roll. Now, we're going to save this to the camera roll. Bear in mind that you have to make sure you've got all your slides in place before you do this recording, because at this stage, you can't actually go back and change things now. So we're going to save that to camera roll. There we go. So now let's play this. Hi, everyone. This is my presentation on the history of computers. OK, so I'm not going to play it all. You get the idea. Now, one thing that you may want to do is ensure that you put your iPad on a tripod so you don't have that shaking, as you could see with what happened with mine. That will make things a little bit easier rather than holding the iPad. And then we can click done. And there we have our video. OK, so now obviously that one's been saved to camera roll. 
Now it's not in my video again, but if I wanted to, what I could do is erase this and add a video that I'd recorded previously. So I could tap that and then click on video and then you can actually import something that you've already recorded. Let's go to our camera roll. And you can see here, here's the presentation. So let's tap on the presentation and there we go. Okay, so that's how you can create a presentation in Keynote and then put yourself in the presentation. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.